Turbocash is a general ledger program. And the general ledger consists of what we've seen, the income and expense accounts, and the capital assets and liabilities, or the balance sheet or statement of position accounts. It also includes control accounts for the debtors, the creditors, and the stock items. So what do we mean by that? Well, so a debtor's ledger consists of individual debtors' accounts. These are the names of all your customers in a list, but imagine that if you put all of them in the general ledger, that would make it really complicated. We take the total of the outstanding balance of all the customer accounts, and we put that in the general ledger in the control account. Similarly, the creditors' ledger is a list of all your suppliers, and the total amount of your suppliers is put into the general ledger account. Then the stock items are put in the stock ledger, and it consists of the individual stock item records. Each individual stock item record contains specific information, such as the quantities, the cost prices, selling prices, units. This detail is just too much for the general ledger, so we only carry over the totals. Let's see this by way of example. So in this particular case that we're looking at here, we have two debtors, debtor A and debtor B, with a, one with a balance of 3,500 and the other with a balance of 1,500. And together they would then have a bit balance in the general ledger of 5,000, controlling balance. Similarly, with two stock items, one with a balance of 900, the other a balance of 1,100, they would be reflected in the general ledger as 2,000. These three subsidiary ledgers, debtors, creditors and stock, or customers, suppliers and stock, are three compulsory ledgers in TurboCash. It's also flexible and you can set up many more. For example, I have a situation where I'd set up my VAT controls. VAT for non-US citizens is where we have input and output taxes, but we put them together to give us a VAT control account. More about that later. And also we can have we can define a bank account, which means that it is an account that will have its own batches or cash book journals, and then we will use that for reconciliation purposes. All of this may have been confusing. Now, don't, you don't need to get this right now. I mean, you could go off and study for three years at a university and you'd get it. We've tried to do it in half an hour. So I'm going to bring here a list of the basic transactions and show how they debit and credit. So take a look at this table in your time and see if you can get your head around these. In, some, in most of the TurboCash templates, these are actually pre-set up for you to make sure that you do do the right debits and credits. For those of you that have found this section particularly difficult, probably because you haven't met accounting before, relax, it starts to get a lot easier from here on in. 